An argument at a high school basketball game ended on this street with a teenager shot and killed. And tonight, there have been no arrests. It don't make no sense, but it was just senseless killing. Now new for five, an eyewitness news discovery brought investigators back to the scene today. An 18-year-old high school student is dead and another 18-year-old injured after a fight escalated into a shooting. Good evening. I'm Martha Sigowski. And I'm Greg Gormuth. The shooting happened last night along Northwest First Avenue in Ocala. Channel Line's Mert Price went back out to that scene today. Mert now live with us. Mert, this all started as an argument at a high school not far from where you're standing. Yeah, Vanguard High School is back behind us, less than a mile down this road. Officials say it started there and ended up here where that heated argument turned into gunfire. This is the scene where police say shots rang out last night and two 18-year-olds were hit. My neighbor heard the shots from inside her apartment. Former Vanguard High School student Marcus Cooper was sent to the hospital in critical condition. Police say the other victim, Vanguard High School senior Jeffrey Scott, was killed. Investigators say the shooting was the result of a dispute between two groups of people who were at a Vanguard High School basketball game. Police say the groups then left the campus to go fight. There were three males in one vehicle and two males in the other. Officials say the two victims came here to Northwest First Avenue to search for their friend who had been beat up earlier and ran away. When the other group showed up, police say they all started fighting. During the fight, investigators say someone opened fire. OPD detectives have already interviewed everybody involved. Um, they've collected evidence. No one has been arrested at this time. While on the scene today, we spotted blood and crime scene tape left behind. We also discovered this bullet. We called police to let them know about it. A short time later, a detective showed up to examine it. Although he says he doesn't think it's related to the shooting, he collected it anyway just to be on the safe side. Scott's neighbor told us he was devastated to hear that the young man was dead. He described the victim as... A nice gentleman. Roderick Glenlock says this is senseless, and he has this message for others. They need to grow up. Leave these guns alone. We were able to speak to the victim's family off camera, and they uh, told us that they were still devastated by what happened, and they weren't up to doing an on-camera interview. We're live in Ocala, Mert Price, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.